Hi and welcome to this Strive Team Builder tutorial. Let's quickly take a look at how we can add this continue to checkout or go to checkout button to one of our Drive Team Builder WooCommerce templates so that after someone adds a product to the cart, they have the option to click on this button so that they are taken straight to the checkout page. I am going to quickly show you how to do this and I am going to access the WordPress admin dashboard. Now, of course, it is mandatory that you have already set up WooCommerce on your site and that you have also set up the products as well as the checkout, cart, shop pages and all of that. We do have tutorials on our knowledge base that show you how to do that. So please go ahead and check those out if you need more information on that. So after you have set up WooCommerce and the products on your site, you can go ahead and access your Thrive Team Builder dashboard by hovering over Thrive dashboard right here. I'm going to go to the templates section and here you can filter the templates and only see the WooCommerce templates. So I'm going to do that and I want to add that go to checkout button to my default shop template so that it will appear on the shop page that has this template applied to it. So I'm going to hover over my shop template and click on edit, which will open the Thrive Team Builder editor. Now, as you can see, we do have this button here, but I'm going to remove it to show you how to add it again. I'm going to click on this plus sign and look for the button element. Then using the drag and drop method, I'm going to place it where I want it on my editor. And then of course you can customize it as you wish. Once you're happy with the way the button looks like, you can go back to its main options and here in the button link section, access the dynamic link option, which is this one. Now, if you click on the first field, you are going to open a drop down, and here you will see this WooCommerce option. So click on that. And from the second field, you will be able to choose to either use this button to add a product to the cart or to access one of these pages that you can see right here. So I'm going to, of course, choose the checkout page. And then depending on the setup that you want to create, you can either open this page in a new tab or just leave this option unchecked. Make sure you click on insert to apply the link and you're all set. All you have to do now is make sure you save this template and we are done. If I go ahead and preview this template, it will show me my shop page as the shop page has this template applied to it. And let's go ahead and add a few products to the cart and click on the go to checkout button that we've just added. And as you can see, we have been taken to the checkout page and we can now proceed with purchasing the products. Hopefully this tutorial was useful and as always, make sure to check out the rest of the articles and tutorials from the knowledge base, as well as our YouTube channel for more information on Drive Team Builder and any other Drive Teams plugins. <laughs>